Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 5, and yeah, last episode we got some information about the different uh, grades of curses and what is enough to be basically kill him. And we saw some action of Sukuna, the special grade curse that is is in Itadori, and we saw his domain thingy, whatever that is, and I wonder if that will be more important later. I would imagine so, right? Seems like a pretty big deal. But yeah, interesting. Pretty cool. Let's see what happens next. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Yeah. <clears throat> what happened with Itadori? Can he take over again? Or is he like passed out inside somewhere? I guess this will be interesting now. Otherwise, this guy gets fucked up. Oh, he's feeling it. <laughs> I mean, he comes out safely. Oh, he's already here? It's a fast boy. Okay, he wants to talk, otherwise he would be dead right now already, I guess. Before he can take over completely. Boy is ripped. Does he want to kill his body? Oh ho ho ho! Wow! Okay. <clears throat> Didn't he ate that already? Maybe not. No, I think he kept it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so did he say that Itadori didn't make a pact with him? So can Itadori make a pact with him to like be in good understanding with him? Like, hey, this is how we do it. You do this, I do this. Deal? Deal. That would be interesting. But I can't see Suk Sukuna being like, yeah, okay, let's make a pact, right? Because he seems not really fond of Itadori. And anyone else? So, without his heart now, can he... Can he... That basically means that Itadori is dead right now, or not? Because how could he live without a heart? Unless he is still somewhat alive as long as... Sukuna isn't switching back with them? Hmm. <coughs> So how do they revolve this? Because black hair dude is definitely not strong enough to beat Sukuna. Is maybe Gojo popping up? And it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm here, what's up? You put that heart back in there, Sukuna, or I beat your ass. <laughs> so how will they solve this? Who is this? Who's her? Who? Oh, is this black hair dude's thing that he maybe regrets somehow in some way? Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> That's true. Facing death the first time, for real. But he got back. Reverse curse. Yeah, but how damaging is it for him? He's he's a special great curse, basically, he's super strong. And <laughs> he is way stronger than the other special great curse, so yeah, what are the chances? It's basically what Gojo did to him, right? Now the roles are reversed, basically. <laughs> He's having some fun. Oh. Okay, a snake. He has a bird, a snake, and two dogs. Gang up on him. Yeah, I guess that's not doing much. <laughs> Ooh. And that's dead. And already behind him. Put more curse behind it. Oh, he uses the open space, okay. Oh! How fast! He's still alive? Ow. He's still alive? <laughs> so... And here he is again. He's still alive? So if you become a sorcerer, I guess it's called, <clears throat> how does your body become more resilient too, somehow? Like curse resistance? Because these punches would kill normal people, I guess. So if he gets destroyed, is he like gone forever? Because I guess the snake is then gone. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe something he doesn't know he can do, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, did she maybe got possessed by a curse or something or oh she was cursed, okay. Wait, what did he say? His name is Megumi? Hmm. 
Okay, that's why I wanted to save Itadori. Dude, the OST! <laughs> Determination. He likes that, I guess. Now it's maybe worth killing him? Megumi. Okay, I call him Megumi from, from now on, if I can remember that. Sacred treasure, eight handled. I guess that doesn't go as planned. Oh, he just he, he's coming back. Wait, what? Did he do that somehow? But his heart is still missing. What happened? What is going on? I'm so confused. So did his ability work or? If you want to see it from a positive side, three fingers are destroyed, right? <laughs> I mean, we know he is still alive, right? Somehow he, he stays alive somehow. Hey, look, a PlayStation 5 building. <laughs> Um, I guess they're invisible for people. Did they start the womb thing? What? Yeah, right. <laughs> Or four. No. Oh. <laughs> Would have been fun. Yeah, if no, I want one for four. So, yeah, did they got did those guys started the use the finger? Or was that, that something different? Oh, so it was like a plan from the higher ups. <laughs> I would like to see that. Because of her makeup, she looks like she could need some sleep. Oh. 
Wow. So she's one the one that does the autopsy stuff. I didn't care for him. For two weeks? Really? Or just a tough act? Yeah. It's raining. Oh, summer uniform. I would like to see that. Oh, is this a... Yeah, it's a... I could tell from the shoes that I saw in the intro. And there's a panda! <laughs> Second year is okay. Okay. Curse tools. Curse speech user. What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Interesting information. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very unique people here. <clears throat> what? Oh. Smash Bros. <laughs> Man, I like her. She is like the ideal girl. She likes eating, playing games. She's a bit awkward at times. Tournament arc? Okay. Dude, imagine Itadori goes there and lets his curse out. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? That's surprising. <laughs> Dude, this guy. Salmon. Bonito Flakes. I definitely have to rewatch this episode. Because I missed quite a few things already.
I mean, that's very true, right? I mean, not always. I mean, yes. If you show negative emotion, you really mean it. But if you show positive emotions, it could be fake just to put up a facade, right? If you are like nice to someone, that could be just a facade. Gojo. <clears throat> Get him on his, their side, but he's. Do they maybe re revive him somehow? Oh. oh. Oh, God damn it! already over. Dude, this episode felt very fast. But when I think about it, about it there was quite a lot, right? We had, like, like the beginning. <clears throat> then Itadori, uh, Sukuna came out. Then they had this fight. Then we had the autopsy stuff. Not autopsy, but, like, the scene in the... What do you want to call it? Mort? Um, mo what is it called? Morg? Morch? I think Morg, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, we had that scene and then the end scene, which was a lot of dialogue, right? So basically they have like some kind of trainings arc, maybe some small one, fighting arc, tournament arc. And the other dude we saw now with the demons, they want to get Itadori on their side, I guess because he has a special great curse and has Sukuna in him. And... For that, they want to get rid of Gojo, because he is very strong and could be a threat. So I guess that's basically the grasp of the episode, right? And yeah, Megumi has, like, lost someone that he liked. But man, Nob Nobara is really, like... A very interesting character because she is so diverse, I feel like. What do we have here? Salmon. She understands what he's saying? <laughs> Sunshine. Okay, I guess that's the next episode. Okay, an interesting episode again. And let me know what you think. But yeah, um, I just rewatched the episode and there's quite a lot, of, a lot of interesting stuff that I didn't quite catch the first time around. Um, I mean, besides the first part where, where Megumi and Sukuna fought against each other. So apparently Sukuna said that without, a, without the heart, uh, Itadori would die. But maybe that was just a bluff, maybe, right? Um, because... From what we know now know, he can still be revived in some way or another, I guess. So, um, I guess we will see how that works, right? Um, but yeah, besides now the beginning, I mean, that's just a fight. And we found out that Megumi lost someone that he was close to or that he liked. And... Um, then we get the part with the weird dude and the demons in the city, right? And <clears throat> basically they used the finger to test Sukuna's strength. So they knew that Itadori has Sukuna in him. 
and that they would go on the, on that mission, right? To test the strength, they use the finger, and now they know how strong he is. And what this weird thing that they couldn't understand said is basically he is the king of all curses. I guess they mean Sukuna with that, obviously, because he's like the super strong curse, right? Um, that you can't get rid of because he has all these fingers that you can't destroy. Not even Gojo can destroy them, and he's supposed to be super strong, so they need a vessel to put it into so that they can destroy the vessel. Um, and yeah. Um, and then we had like the scene with the morgue or autopsy stuff, and that wasn't much at all, I would say. That is. There wasn't anything really interesting about it. I mean, interesting was maybe that Gojo thought that they sent him on the mission to get rid of him. If they can't execute him right away, then they use the mission while Gojo is away to get him killed. In best case scenario, basically. Um, and yeah, the woman, I don't know if they said the name, um, she wants to, yeah, take... Itadori apart, I guess, because it's valuable valuable information what makes Itadori Itadori, uh, what makes him able to be a vessel, right? I guess I guess that's information they want, right? And then we had the discussion with the second year students from the school, which is also something very interesting that obviously depending on like um, seasons over the year, um, in like winter and spring or whatever, they basically the humans like accumulate the bad negative um energy right in their minds and then in summer time they outburst and that's when the most curses are around and then it goes back to this to the cycle basically where in like fall winter whatever it's more like they accumulated again right in the depressing seasons i would i would imagine that maybe in like Fall and winter and spring, maybe when it's cold and everything. I would imagine that that's the time when the most curses would be around because that's when the people, in many cases, are like the most depressed and everything, right? And negative thoughts beat curses, right? So it's interesting that it's like that they just accumulate the energy basically. And in summer, when they, I would guess, are the happiest because it's like summer season, happiness, you can go outside and everything, have all the activities outside and everything that it's then when people are when it suddenly bursts out right maybe because they have some positive emotions that all the negativity like bursts out right maybe that's a, maybe that's the case but it's definitely interesting that it's like based on seasons too um and yeah it seems like they have now a training arc maybe from what it sounds like or a mini tournament arc or something like that so we will get new characters right so that could be interesting to see maybe how they fight, what other sorcerers uh, sorcerers are there and all that stuff. And then we had like the end scene where the weird dude with his demons talked again. And I missed that part where they said that they want to reverse the roles with humans and curses. So that basically the humans will be the bad guys that will be killed and the curses are basically the normal living beings on the world maybe, something like that. Because from what the curse said, negative thoughts, negative and hostility and every, everything is like the pure, the truth and everything. So since curses are born from that, they are like the true and pure beings on the world, right? And I mean, it makes sense, right? Because if you are <clears throat> negative and are hostile to someone, that's how you feel, right? But if you are nice to someone, like maybe a co-worker or something, and you're just like, hey, we, how, how's it going? How was your day? everything all right it can be just a facade right you, you're just nice because you feel like obligated to be nice because it's your co-worker right you can't be there and be like yeah come fuck off uh, fuck off dude right so it makes sense that good emotion positive emotions can be fake because you can't put on a f f facade for someone um but if you are like pissed then you are pissed right i mean you can i guess you can in some way also fake that you can fake being angry and mad right um but i think in most cases it's just like the other way around right and i mean you also can be like very negative but then put on a nice facade right i mean if i have some if when i worked in like a store and i had really negative customers 
and I was really mad inside. I w still was nice to the customer, right? Because you again, you feel ob obligated to be nice. You can't just lash out to the customer because you will be in trouble, right? So it's the same thing, right? It's it's. But I think like like I said, it's, it it goes both ways, right? You can't fake negative emotions. You can't fake positive emotions. So. But I feel like in most cases you fake more positive emotions than negative ones, I guess. Um, so yeah, interesting. Still very interesting. Like the whole, di like the whole, uh, the whole idea how the curses and everything works is just very interesting. And I guess we will see next episode that Itadori comes back. And I mean, last episode wasn't low. No, two episodes ago wasn't lying when they said that someone died. I mean, Itadori is kind of dead right now. But I mean, he comes back to life. However, that will work. I guess. It, I guess uh, somehow Sukuna is still alive inside the dead body, basically. I guess, and I guess he can maybe still regrow the heart. So maybe they make a pact now. Maybe they make make a pact now, and then he will bring the heart back, and then Itadori is alive and well again. Man, I can already see it that Itadori is back alive and. Instead of being welcomed with open arms, Nobora, uh, Nobara, Nobara will just kick him <laughs> and will lash out on him for, and being maybe like, dude, you make me worried for nothing. Um, but yeah, again, like I said in the outro, um, Nobara, I like her. She's very unique, I would say, because she has so many different um, characteristics, right? She is like on one side, she is serious. Then she is like on the other side, arrogant. Um, she is, she likes food, she likes games and everything, and I don't know, she's a very interesting character, I really like her, and can't wait to see more about her, um, but yeah, like I said, after rewatching the episode and getting all the informations that I missed somewhat, um, very interesting, lots of good information, and can't wait for the next episode, what's gonna happen, if we go, if we go maybe straight into like a training mini tournament arc or something or if we have something else to do so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you th uh, think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye